Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are taking a look at another NECA Godzilla figure. And as you can see right here, this is the Godzilla Monster of Monsters. So this is quite clearly the NECA Godzilla from that classic video game that maybe some of us have played, maybe not all, because there's probably some viewers on my channel that maybe never had the opportunity to play that incredibly awesome game back in the day. But the figure looks really cool. Of course, it's not in the packaging. I already took it out because I'm impatient. But you can see that the background sports kind of that image of the game itself, as does this right here over on the side. Anyone that's played that game will have a giant jump of nostalgia right in their face when they open that up and see that. And then on the side, you've got the Godzilla logo, of course. And then the back itself sports some really cool images of the figure itself. And then over here again, that Godzilla logo and everything right there. Really, really awesome box. Absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and bring in the Godzilla figure right now. So there is our Godzilla, and it absolutely 100% looks like the Godzilla from that game. Pixelation and all, it is awesome. I love this figure. I've wanted to get a hold of it for an extremely long time and I really just wanted to get a hold of it to break it out of the box, take a look at it in person, and I am definitely very impressed with it in hand. It's a really cool looking figure and such a unique figure being based on that video game. It gives it that very crazy video game type of an appearance. So I am absolutely in love with the appearance of this figure. Again, it was a game I played a lot when I was younger. So I really have always wanted to see this figure in person and always had a soft spot for this figure due to how often I used to play that video game. So now that I have it in person, I am so psyched to take a closer look at it. So let's do that right now. So starting up at the head, Look at how beautiful the sculpt and detail is of this. Really nicely painted eyes in there. They're given a beautiful gloss as well, so it has that very realistic eye shine. You can also see a very nice dark wash has been applied to the face to give it some color variation and also some nice shading in certain areas. Beautiful dark coloration to the nostrils as well. You have the articulated jaw as always. You open it up, you can see the very nicely painted teeth all over the place really really nice looking painted tongue you can see the tongue also seems to include a dark wash to bring the detail out really wonderfully very nice coloration in there as far as the tongue goes so it looks great the articulated jaw works perfectly but you never really have to worry about articulation on a NECA Godzilla figure once you move up here to the side of the head you've got the ear sculpted out there the detailing on the top of the head also looks really really well done as you lead down into the neck, you of course start to see those trademark Godzilla spikes and spines start to pick up. You've got the very nice detailing and sculpt work here in the neck region. Beautiful scaling here on the underside of Godzilla. Lots of skin wrinkles and skin rolls and everything as you run down into the chest region, which that really nice scaling continues. You've got the very nice sculpted arms, beautifully defined musculature all over the place that looks Again, very video game-like, so the sculpt of this is extremely cool. As you move down into the arms, you've got those very nice Godzilla arms. Beautifully painted nails. There is no sloppiness to them at all that I can see. You've also got that very kind of video game-like appearance to like the pixels all over it and everything. Really nice detailing of the spikes of Godzilla, the spines up here on the back. And again, that very similar paint work all over the place. The actual minute detailing of the spines is incredible. Look at how really beautifully done that is. It looks fantastic every way you look at this figure. As you move down into the very large Godzilla thighs, you've got some nice muscle tone there. They are quite large, very big, very bulky, very muscular looking. Some nice rolls and skin folds and everything here in the leg. As you come down into the foot, you can see the foot is sculpted really nicely as well. Beautiful scaling there included. Really nicely painted nails once again. And again, you can see it from every side. The nails don't appear to have sloppiness or anything. Really nicely done. And then you run down the length of the tail and you can see that that tail has that trademark Godzilla style of skin texture and the very nice scaling on the underside as we run out the length of the tail. You've also got like a darker blue on the underside and a lighter blue up here on the top. You've got some nice color variation throughout the spines of Godzilla. And then once you get to this point in the tail, they all turn into like this dark blue. And you can see that's pretty much the way that they look the entire way out as you run out the length of the tail. Being a NECA Godzilla figure, 
it is in a completely neutral position as the opposability is really up to you so this side's going to look exactly as the opposing side did but that just means that again it looks fantastic on both sides no matter which way you look at it this Godzilla figure is awesome as far as articulation goes you've of course got articulation right here in the neck and then at the base of the neck it actually works really smoothly you also have the articulated jaw as always you've then got articulation in the shoulder and the elbow joint right there which isn't going to move very well there we go it's swiveling a little bit there and then in the wrist you've also got articulation right here around the midsection and then you've got hip articulation you've got knee articulation which swivels along with ankle articulation and then in the tail you've got articulation right here and again right there and then again right here and then again right here and then it has the bendable tail here at the end so you can then position the tail in whichever position you would like to display it in for a size from the head to the tail you're looking at about 10 inches maybe 10 and a quarter inches or about 26 centimeters 26 and a half somewhere in that range and for a height about six inches or about 15 and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon all next to our godzilla figure and you can see that the figure does sport some nice size but is actually i think a little bit smaller than most NECA Godzilla figures usually are. And to show you that, here it is next to the Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack Atomic Breath Godzilla. You can see it's a little bit shorter, I think you could say, in length, somewhere in that vicinity, so the tail's a little shorter. It's a similar height, but as far as overall body mass, it's not quite as large as a lot of the Godzilla figures are, but that, in my opinion, is definitely not a bad thing, as I think it's really, really nicely sized and an absolutely beautiful looking figure. No matter if it's smaller or larger than the others, I still think it's fantastic. So this NECA Monster of Monsters Godzilla figure, based on the classic video game, is fantastic. Such a very cool throwback, a very cool vintage inspired NECA Godzilla figure. It is so cool. I love that NECA went out and created a video game style Godzilla figure based on that game because as I said, I played that game so much when I was a kid. So to see a figure of it based on that video game is awesome. So cool. And I think they 100% nailed it. Everything from the overall appearance of Godzilla to even the coloration of Godzilla himself. They did a fantastic job on the sculpt, even adding in elements of realism like the really nice coloration of the tongue and the beautiful gloss on the eyes and mouth and everything. So even for a video game figure, it still has that very nice dose of realism to the figure, making it have a somewhat lifelike appearance to it. But the overall sculpt definitely is really nicely detailed, lots of beautiful sculpt and very minute detailing all over the Godzilla, the really nice scale work and everything, and including the spines of Godzilla. When I got that closer look, you could really see how incredibly detailed the spines of the Godzilla are. And then, of course, you take that and throw in the very cool vintage paintwork that we have on the figure with that really nice video game style, and this figure is a surefire win. Then you, of course, always have the incredible articulation that NECA includes in their Godzilla figures, a little bit less than you see on a lot of newer NECA Godzilla figures, but regardless, it still has an absolute ton of articulation and does include a world of possibilities when it comes to display options for your figure. So this figure here is an absolute 100% win and definitely a recommendation from me. If you have ever played that older Godzilla video game, you'll definitely want to pick up this Godzilla figure. And even if you haven't played that game, it's still an absolutely awesome choice to pick this up. So make sure that you check the description as I will include a link to BigBadToyStore.com down there where I purchased mine. So you can go ahead and do just that. So buy this awesome Godzilla figure. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.